October 2006, I saw a commercial, Joga Bonito, Ronaldinho, Robinho, Cristiano Ronaldo. Just saw a video online of, you know, like Ronaldinho, the old uh, commercials that they used to put out. I was just out. watching funny videos with my friends and I seen this freestyle video, I was like, whoa, this is crazy. By the time I understand that there is different sport and different thing called freestyle football. And I just got sucked into that world, you know, and all of a sudden I was more interested in freestyle than football. So I just, I, I can't explain, I cannot explain because I love it freestyle and in the stage it's my moment, I enjoy it and it's the best part in the world. <laughs> I love freestyle football. Uh, my name is uh, Steve Elias and I'm a professional freestyler. I started doing freestyle football uh, in the late 80s. Uh, I tried a couple of tricks. My friends were like, what, that's crazy. And then in the 1990, I remember doing my first freestyle show, uh, getting paid 50 bucks. And I was pretty stoked about that. I didn't think I could ever get paid doing freestyle. Uh, in 1990, I also created um, a move called Swirl, uh, which is now the uh, official freestyle soccer brand. I mean, some of these guys on tour are 20 years old. I mean, they weren't even born when I started freestyling. And what they're doing now, I would have never thought of even trying. Every brand is on board. There's guys doing tours. You're going to see at the World Cup, you're going to see freestylers performing there. You're going to see freestylers doing commercials. And the reason the Federation started was because they saw that this, this sport was exploding. And there needs to be some structure to it. And the reason you need that structure is to create opportunities for everyone that's involved. But you watch in the next five years, it's going to be the next level. Everyone in the top 16 gets along with each other so well. As you saw today, and um, you know, all the time you've been filming, everyone from the top 16, they're just having fun. It's like we're all best friends, and it's crazy. You get a mix of so many different cultures, so many different nationalities here, and you get to experience what it's like to, to be from that country, you know. I've been here, you know, today with Europe from Egypt. You know, I get to understand a bit about Egypt and about his life. Guys from Argentina, Brazil, Japan, you know, all over. My favorite skills are more like breakdance. I, I like to incorporate dance with, with the ball. Um, so that's sort of my speciality and that's what will hopefully make me stand out here in London. FC World Tour is uh, basically is uh, like uh, a freestyle football competition. We go to different cities around the world competing and at the end of the year we see the, the guy with most points uh, get like the title of the, 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 the world champion of the tour, you know. It's a pleasure to be here because it's 15 guys uh, around the world. It's so it's a, a great experience because it's another culture. It's so different for me. I'm Pedrinho from Brazil, and I am football freestyler athlete. Yeah. Well, we're here in London at the Indigo at the O2. It's the Freestyle Football Federation World Tour. It's the second stop in London. And we're gonna start the routine battles pretty soon as the top 16 freestylers in the world. And then, depending on how those routines work out, we're then gonna move into the battles. And we're gonna crown a champ. I'm, I'm about to go out there in about five minutes and, and hopefully it comes off. Uh, I'm quite excited, a little bit nervous, but very excited to be representing New Zealand. I did a couple of mistakes, but no drops. But yeah, pretty much, I'm happy.
I, I don't think he'll be. I don't think he'll be going. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So a uh, boy from Colombia, unfortunately he's uh, pulled a bit of a, I think this is tendon, uh, around his shin area. And the last check he did with his routine, um, he's very distraught about it. He's still got pain, seeing the physios, he's going to try and perform. Unfortunately for him, it's uh, his first up, so we'll see how that goes. Gunter, two to one. Once you finish that routine on the stage and you know who you're facing in the first round, you know your path to winning, you know who you've got to potentially go against, that's when things change. That's when you've got to make that step, you know, okay, I'm, I'm going in this, this is for me, I'm competing and uh, I'm going to be determined and disciplined in my own way. I think uh, the competition is really high, like uh, the level here is crazy. I, you, you can never say someone will win, someone particularly will win. Uh, anyone can surprise you, the level of everyone is very close. This event is one of the most difficult to win. Boca, two to one, over Nikwix. Colombia makes it two. So he's better going to know it's that injury there. It's time for the final. Are you guys ready?